Hello crafty friends and welcome to another Not Just Christmas in July video. It's not just Christmas in July because I'm not just going to make a Christmas card for you. I am going to make a Christmas card but after I've done that I'll show you several non-Christmas cards that I've made using the same design idea. So first things first, I have got a roughly four by six inch card blank here and a stitched rectangle panel ready to go on the top. I have cut out a stitched circle frame. It's quite small because I want there to be lots of white space on this card. I'm just trying to get my ruler the right way up. The frame is about three and a half centimetres that is one and three eighths of an inch wide on top of my frame i'm going to put some bells and holly leaves and holly berries and a bow so what i've done is i've cut three of these in gold glitter cardstock and one in plain smooth white cardstock because what i want to do with this one is color the berries and leaves and then cut them out and use them on here so my berries and leaves are a different colour to the gold glitter so I've just got my zebra mild liners I've got the green and the red and I'm just doing very simple colouring because it's uh, quite small I don't need to be particularly detailed and there's already embossed texture on the leaves and the berries and all I'm going to do is take my detail scissors and go around and snip where the berries and the leaves are joined on now what I'm going to do is do something similar here but take off one of the bells and then this is going to layer on top of this so I have one bell behind the other to stick everything together I'm using high tack PVA glue because this is really good for sticking things to glitter cardstock so I want to get that lined up perfectly so the back bell is hidden and I've cut a third one because what I want to do is just take the rim off the bottom and stick it on and that will make the bells look a bit more dimensional so I cut the clapper off so that the clapper that is visible is recessed. I think the trick in choosing which bits to stick on which and which bits to cut off is just think about which part of the thing that you're making is closest to you and which is furthest away from you and the closest to you will be the bits that you layer up and make thicker. So then we have the bells done, I just need to stick my holly on top. Next I want to cut a bow to go behind my bells as if it's tied onto the frame. So I've coloured a piece of cardstock with the same red pen as I used to do the berries and I'll cut that out with a bow die. So there's the bow, I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle and then put the bell on top like that. And to add a little bit of texture to give my frame and bell something to sit on I'm going to add three scored lines towards the top of my panel now I add a little bit of glue to the back of my frame and put that over my scored lines in the middle and now I can add my bells Put some glue on the back. You could put the bells on a jaunty angle, but I think I just have them central like that. Before I add this to my card blank, I'm going to add a sentiment. I've got a stamp here in an old typewritery font that says celebrate, and I've got it straight using this set square. I'll pick it up and stamp it in black ink. And I'm happy with that, so now I'm going to add it to my card blank. 
these panels are ever so slightly short for a four by six inch card blank so what i've been doing is just slicing a little bit off the end when i use these just so it looks balanced and there we have a clean and simple christmas card with a bit of colour and a bit of bling from the gold glitter cardstock and I'm really pleased with that. Right, I promised some non-Christmas cards made with this design idea. So stick around for a few more minutes and I will show those to you. Okay, here are the other non-Christmas cards. This one has a stitched octagonal frame on it and I made that by using two octagon nesting dies and cutting them out together so that made a little frame. Instead of using my scoreboard to make the line behind it I used this die and embossed it using the embossing sandwich in my cuttle bag and for the die cut I just used a little camera die. So this little die cuts out four parts, the camera body, the ring, an inner part and a heart and I just cut several of these one from a bit of cardstock that I've coloured green one from white and one from gold and then paper pieced it together and I used the sentiment special moment because I felt it went well with the camera so for this card I went with a new home theme instead of embossing the panel I ran silver thread all the way around it to give it some texture and some sparkle. I then put two silver glitter cardstock keys that I die cut and threaded them on some of the threads and instead of a proper frame I decided to use this kind of coffee ring die cut and instead of it being a coffee ring I thought it could be like a paint can ring and then I gave it a sentiment home sweet home so I think that would make a really nice card for someone moving into a new home so for this card I went with a summer holiday theme I used this circle border die which actually is part of a longer die but it's snapped in two but quite conveniently this stretches across this panel so I used that to emboss the background I added a square stitched frame die and then I die cut two flip flops out of smooth white cardstock and coloured them yellow and then I cut another two and coloured them red and then I cut out the little um, I don't know what those bits are the sort of rubbery bits that hold your flip flops on I cut those out and stuck those on and added a fun in the sun sentiment so that could be for someone who's going off on a summer adventure or somewhere to rest and relax for this card I used a circle frame the same one I used on the bell card I used this die to emboss a strip a scalloped strip there and I used this die to make my little flowers so again I think I cut three out of smooth white cardstock I colored one with green and one with red and then I cut the red flowers off and stuck them on the green one and then I coloured another one red and cut the middle flowers out and stuck those on so the flowers look quite dimensional because these leaves have some embossing on them they've got white veins which I thought looked rather nice and I decided to echo that by using some white gel pen and dotting it on the petals here to make them look a little bit shiny and then to finish it off I added a best buds sentiment so you could give that to your best pal. Finally I decided to flip this round and make a landscape card. It's still the same sort of layout. For this embossing in the background I used this rectangle, stitched rectangle die with another stitched rectangle in the middle that I have yet to separate out and that looked a bit like tire treads which I thought worked well with this die which is obviously a car and to make this I cut out two from smooth white cardstock one I coloured in black and one I coloured in cracked pistachio distress oxide and on that one I chopped off the wheels and layered it on top of the black one so the tires are recessed behind the bodywork I added a couple of white circles 
with white gel pen for the hubcaps, some lights and some bumpers and a door handle, a rectangle frame and a go see do sentiment. So I thought it might be a fun card to give to someone who's going on an adventure or maybe pass their driving test. So there we have six cards made using the same design idea, the same kind of tools and techniques, but for different occasions, only one of which is Christmas. So I hope this has given you some ideas of things you can do with the dies and bits and bobs that you already have in your stash. If it has, please do let me know maybe which one of these designs you're more drawn to, which one you might try. And if you do make a card like this, do come to my Facebook group. The link is in the video description and share some photos there because we'd all love to see them. Right. Thanks for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye for now.